Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is dedicated to my most recent small K's haul. And I know in my last video I said I wasn't going to order from K's for a little bit because I wanted to wait till closer to fall to get some customs. But I lied because I made an order last week with just one custom. So let's get started. It'll be a short video because I only got a handful of clams and one custom. So first one I'm going to talk about here, Miss Poppy's right here. So if you hear her, see her, she's here. Witch's Brew. <clears throat> this is the Yankee type. Cedarwood, cinnamon, and patchouli. Now, I love my patchouli. I love my earthy blends. I'm one of those people. That is so, it's so good. It's definitely cedar and I get cinnamon and I get patchouli I get all of these I get all of these and I got witch's brew because you know it's spooky time coming up and I smelling this this will go really well with another love of mine which is smell of weather turning I actually just posted a picture of that in the group just a little bit ago but this one it also has a little bit of underlying it smells like potting soil, almost dirt, but not dirty, like stinky, bad, dirty. It just smells like that organic mineral quality that soil has. And, and you know, whether that's inadvertently in here or it's just part of the, of the oil, it's good. I like this. Witch's Brew. That's a good blender, too. Next is I grabbed Banana Bake. This is a house blend. This is Banana Nut Bread. Banana flambe and zucchini bread. I love banana zucchini bread. So good. Yep, that's nice. I can tell that zucchini bread is nice and strong and creamy. And that banana there is wonderful. Good job on that one. Next is greenhouse. And I forgot to look up the notes for this, but it's basically a greenhouse scent. And it has a little bit of soil, a little bit of maybe tomato in it, but... I got this because I'm thinking of making a, a custom with either bonsai, greenhouse. I'm, I'm trying different green ones out to see which ones I really want to try. And this one, excuse me, it's very green. It's very vegetable-like. Not, not vegetable-like, but it's just if you have a garden and you know like the tomato stems, the tomato vine it has that you know green quality to it that unmistakable vegetable scent to it I like this a lot this is for me it might not be for everybody but I really like that one next is sky zone now why I was attracted to sky zone is because it has ivory in it I love soap stuff this is gingered bergamot summer breeze and ivory this one Man, is that nice. Ivory's pretty heavy in this, but it's good. I really like this. Oh, that's relaxing. That's nice and crisp. And I get a, a little bit of the summer breeze. It's got a little bit of laundry-esque to it, but it might be the ivory too. Very, very good. Next is I got sinus relief. Had to give this a try. This is camphor, eucalyptus, and mint topped with menthol crystals. You can even see the crystals on there too. Maybe. There you go. A little bit in the light. I'm trying to reflect it off here. There you go. You can see that there. I hope. <laughs> Man, that's Vix. That is Vix to a T, but it's got a little something extra because it has that menthol and just, oh, I love it. I, I'm going to wait until I have respiratory issues to use that one next is blueberry pumpkin patch bath and body works type and this is fresh blueberries and ripe pumpkin i haven't smelled this in quite a while oh is that nice i know why danny says this is her favorite blueberry oil because it's got a little bit of that pumpkin in it just a touch of spice but it plays so well with the blueberry Man, that's good. That is good. It, it, it's kind of reminiscent of blueberry pumpkin waffles uh, or blueberry uh, maple blueberry pancakes, whatever that concoction is from Bath and Body Works. I think it's maple, blueberry maple pancakes, I think. It's very, 
it's very reminiscent to that. Not as heavy on the syrup and the maple, uh, or the or the pecan, I should say, too. Um, but this is very, very good. Like that one a lot. Last clam is pumpkin peanut brittle. Now, this one I wanted to get because it is a star in a lot of my custom lists that I have I'm creating. And that's nice and peanutty and salty and just, I can, it, it just, it smells so authentic. I don't get a ton of pumpkin in this. It might add a little bit of creaminess. I'm not sure, but this is so good. That's an A plus. I love that. And my custom is apple caramel crunch, bourbon and butterscotch, and cornbread. This is called Fat and Sassy. That's what I <laughs> named this one. And let me tell you, this one, oh, is that good? The apple caramel crunch hits your nose first, that caramel apple smell. But then I added the extra bourbon and butterscotch because I wanted a little bit of extra strength in, um, you know, the, the caramel department. And that cornbread is there. Cornbread adds such a, a nice grainy bakery scent or a feel for it. And this... That doesn't disappoint. That's fabulous. I love this one. My two samples I got fierce and these little leaves which are so cute. I think this is, oh, that's Abercrombie and Fitch. Man, that's college. Man, that's college. Takes me right back. I went to college in Columbus, Ohio, and it takes me right back to going to um, one of the places that we would go to to get away from college and dorm life is uh, Easton Town Center, which is a nice, um, not outlets, but just an outdoor shopping upscale, tons of restaurants. And they had a huge, 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 huge Abercrombie store. And they would just pump fierce through the vents there. And I just remember even walking by the doors, it just hits you in the face. Hollister was the same way. But this Oh, and I used to date a guy that wore fierce long, you know, years and years ago. And this is good. That is authentic. That's authentic. And next is sorrel and lemon thyme. And I'm actually glad I got this one because Danny has talked about this before in her videos and even in the group. And this one, man, that's good. I could even use this. In, instead of greenhouse for what I'm trying to go for in one of my customs. I could even mix this with smell of weather turning and this one would even go good with, where did it go? Witch's Brew. This would go very well. They both have that earthy, that fresh earthy mineral-esque quality. But that is my case haul. It was short, I told you. So I'm going to try really, really, really hard not to put another K's order in until at least September. Um, so that way I can melt through some of my wax. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great evening. Bye.